Question 42 says the table below shows the amount of milk delivered to a hotel in six days. What was the average amount of milk delivered to the hotel per day? Now we are just trying to solve average. Now for you to get to average, all you need to do is sum up the total numbers and divide by that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So that's going to be 24 plus 27 plus 25 plus 29 plus 25 plus 26, all divided by 6. Now, in order to do this, you are going to get... Um, so this is going to give us 156. And when you divide it by 6, you are going to get... 20 that's 6 into here it's uh, we have 2 carry 3 6 into 36 will give us 26 that's 26 is our correct answer so we are going to be circling our b okay so now we listen to question 43 which says the following are properties of certain quadrilateral diagonals intersect at right angles opposite sides are equal and parallel all angles are right angles diagonals are equal now a trapezium has a shape so you can see they don't have the angles are not right angles so this is bad now a square this is exactly what a square looks like now you can see the angles are all right angles so it satisfies option dates the diagonals are equal now these are the diagonals they are equal so that satisfies the second condition Okay, now opposite sides are equal, correct? This is correct, and the diagonals intersect at right angle. Yes, they intersect at right angle. So I think the correct answer is a square. Now, for a parallelogram, this is what a parallelogram looks like. So, this is what a parallelogram looks like. Now, you can see. Uh, the diagonals are not equal. This is longer than this. Now, for a rhombus, now a rhombus is something exactly like a kite. So you can see the diagonals are also not equal. So now with this, we can set the correct answer here. It's B. So question 44 says, unpaid 2,210 shillings for a blanket after getting a 15% discount. What was the max price of the blanket? Now, if you understand the concept about discount, discount is an amount you get such that if you want to buy a product, discount is the reduction amount you can get from whoever is selling the product. Now, that means if she paid this, uh, unpaid 2,210 for a blanket after getting a 15% discount. So all we need to do, it's, uh, um, since it's 15% discount, so we're going to do 15 over 100 multiplied by the amount that was the marked price. So now we don't know the marked price. This is going to give us um, 0.15x. Okay? So, having done this, now, uh, if Anne bought the, the, the blanket for 2,210 shillings, so that means discounted price, maybe the amount that was removed is, is equal to, also, uh, is also equal to X, which is the marked price, minus 2,210. So, if this this is the discounted price and this minus this is also equal to the discounted price so what we'll do here is 0.15x is equal to x minus 2210 from here we will collect like terms minus 2210 coming over will be 2210 is equal to this will be x minus 0.15x so this is going to give us 2210 is equal to um, this will be 0.85x, therefore, x will be 2210 all divided by 0.85. And when you do this division, you are going to get uh, 
2600 shillings. So when you do that long division, you are going to get this. So the correct answer here is going to be A. Now, in order to solve um, 45, 45 says the perimeter of an isosceles triangle is 36 C. Two of the sides of the triangle measures 13 and 10 C. What is the area of the triangle? Now I'm going to draw my triangle. Remember, your isosceles triangle has two sides equal and always these two sides. So um, it said two of the sides measures 13 and 10. Now, from here, if 36 is going to be 13 plus 10 plus x for perimeter, so 36 is going to be 23 plus x. So 36 minus 23 give us x. So this is going to give us um, 13 is equal to x. So I believe it's going to be 13, 13, and here is going to be what 10. Now remember this 10 is from here to here. So what we are going to do, we are going to divide this into 2. So this will be 5 and this will be 5. Now you can see we have a right angle triangle. So we can apply our Pythagoras and get the side. So from our Pythagoras theorem, you can see that 13 square is equal to, let's call here x. x square plus 5 square. So collecting like terms, 13 square minus 5 square is going to give us what x square. So this is going to be 169 minus 25, which will be what x square. So this is going to give us what? 144, which is what? x squared. Therefore, x is going to be square root of 144, which is 12. Now, having gotten x as 12, so we can easily say our triangle area will be what? Half base times height. Now, the base is what? The base of our triangle, remember, we are dealing with um, our base is what 10 then our height it's now what 12 so this is going to be half times our base it's uh, 12 and our height is what 10 so this is uh, 12 times 10 that's 120 all divided by 2 this is going to give you what 60 cm squared so as easy as that, you can get the area of your triangle and the correct answer here, it's um, B.